Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today working in Tampa, Florida. We're gonna be doing a house wash as well as a lanai cleaning and a driveway cleaning. Uh, we're not doing the whole house. We're just gonna be doing a partial house wash. We're doing the front of the house. It has a lot of algae build up and the customer is gonna be putting up this house for sale. Uh, second job for the day, we're gonna be doing some rust removal. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna be using two different products. Uh, just to do a uh, comparison to show you guys, you know, which one works better and, um, you know, as far as uh, cost effective also. So y'all stay tuned. Enjoy the video. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. I need that help to get to that 10,000 subscribers, man. So make sure y'all help me out. So uh, today we got my man Jared. We're going to be training him today on doing house washing and, uh, you know, surface cleaning and stuff like that. He has, he's, he's just starting out his business. Actually, he got his little rig. Uh, when we get back, I'll show you guys his, uh, his rig. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to, you know, help him out, get him started, get him acquainted with the business. So, let's go meet Jared. So, this is Jared here. Welcome to the channel, man. Um, so, he's out of Brandon, Florida. Sorry. Brandon, Florida, which is uh, about 30 minutes outside of Tampa. He's just starting. You don't know what he, he doesn't know what he's gonna call his business yet, right? <laughs> it's gonna be Panther Power Wash. Panther Power Wash. Panther Power Wash. There you go, man. Y'all stay, y'all stay locked in. Soon he's gonna be probably give me all his information as far as you know his website, his Instagram, and all that. I'll post it up for you guys so y'all can check him out. All right. So today we're gonna be doing some house washing, some surface cleaning. We got lanai cleaning. We got rust removal. So we got a whole shebang for y'all today. So y'all stay tuned. All right. We're gonna get to work. All right, guys, before we start, we're going to go ahead and start weighing down all the vegetation around the house, grass, plants, and all that. So, we're going to let Jared get um, on that right now. You can um, open it up a little bit like this. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's all. Like I said, we're only washing the front of the house. As you guys can see, there's a lot of algae build up on this stucco house. Uh, we're gonna downstream this. It should get it cleaned up with one application. See how bad it is up there under the windows. Look at that. This is the lanai back here. You guys can already see there's a lot of algae build up across the top the floor is pretty dirty see all that right there a lot of dirt look at that Ugh. a lot of dirt check out the outside A little bit of algae right there too. Kind of overcast today. Say so we're supposed to get a little bit of rain, but we we, we try to get this done. Got some heavy algae right here at the bottom. Light work though. Light work. We're not washing this side, so we good. I'm gonna double back up front, see what Jared got going on.
back side here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get this lanai cleaned up. Just downstreaming. We spraying the outside first, go inside, spray the inside. And then um, everything should be dwelled up, ready to, ready to rinse. Remember you press you, you apply remember you're applying chemical, you're not pressure washing it. Put you guys down. No, I'm saying like when you're uh, applying, like trying to hit it too much pressure, it's like you just apply it. Guys, we're back at the top. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It should reach it. We're back at the top. Uh, we're gonna clear our line out right now. We're gonna clear the line out. So he's gonna use whatever's in the line to apply a couple of little spots. And then we're gonna start doing our rinsing. Um, you can see how I cleaned up really good already. So um, downstream is the, is the ticket today. Yeah, with a two-story tip, with a shooter tip. Oh, no, that's the uh, one-story tip. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you gotta switch it to the two-story tip so you can hit the top. Time to rent the back side. This has been dwelling for about 15 minutes. So it should be nice and ready to go. See that big spot that was down there is gone. And on the screens, I like to hit them like how you're hitting it just now. And I like to do it sideways too. So just in case, you know, you're not leaving it. But when you go like this here, what happens sometimes you leave a line here, a line there, a line there that didn't get rinsed. So when I, once I get done doing it this way, I hit it this way. 
Yeah. So you want to say you want to miss a spot? guys this is the front of the house you guys can see all the algae is gone cleaned up all the window seals was really bad underneath got the garage door nice and clean clean the walkway looking spotless driveway cleaned up no post treatment needed all right let's take a look is all cleaned up we got some oxidation on here that you know it's already there looks like algae but it's not everything's cleaned up see the thing sparkling in here man sparkling all right y'all we're gonna wrap it up we actually packed up already we'll see y'all when we get to the next job all right, you guys, we're at the second job right now. We're in uh, Odessa, Florida. It was just raining, but you know what I'm saying, lighting up. Should be good to um, go ahead and start this process. We're gonna be doing a rust removal job. Uh, sidewalks in front of the house is full of rust, irrigation rust, so we're gonna use two products today. You guys see me use the Rust Aid, which we'll be using today, and also we're gonna be using oxalic acid. We're gonna do a little test to see the, you know what I'm saying, the results on each one. Uh, both are easily accessible through uh, either Home Depot or Amazon. So, like I said, it's a lot of rust in front of the house, heavy, heavy rust from the sprinklers. In the sidewalks, I got Jared over there. We're gonna clean the sidewalks first uh, before we do the rust removal. You wanna clean anything that you're gonna, you know, do the rust removal on first before you just go out there and just start applying your rust remover. Because a lot of the times, some of that stuff will just come up before you even put the rust removal on there. So let's go check the job out. So the sidewalks here, see how you got that tent on there really bad. A lot of rust stains. Show you guys the other side. Same thing over here. We'll go ahead and uh, hit the pillars for them. That's efflorescence on there though, so that won't clean up. It's a whole different process. That white calcium, that's called efflorescence. It's heavy on there too. Show you guys the front where the heavy rust is but the heavy parts are over here on this wall that thing is heavy 
Look at the rocks. <laughs> So this, we gotta clean this little path for her before we start. She's an older customer, so we don't want no slips and falls. Over here we got some heavy, heavy rust. I've never seen it that high on a house. So maybe a pipe bust or something like that, and it was shooting up there. But man, this this is way up there. It's like almost to the soffits. And over here. Got some more rust, heavy rust. And over here too. So like I said, we're gonna be using the oxalic acid and some rust aid to do a comp uh, comparison. So we'll see which one works better. I've used both, so it's all in preference of what you like. So we're gonna go ahead and downstream the pathway to get rid of this algae first i'm gonna go ahead and start mixing the mixes with the uh i'm gonna start with the uh the rust aid first and then we'll go to the oxalic and do the little test see which one works all right i'm gonna turn the pressure wash on on soap so you can uh go ahead and apply it okay So we just got done downstreaming the front pillars as well as the sidewalks just to get up any kind of you know algae if there is any algae there's been raining i couldn't tell so uh algae any kind of like dust dirt whatever is on there just want to get a clean surface before we do the rust removal we're going to go ahead and uh, hit the inside of the pillars and then we can go ahead and start um doing our surface cleaning man right here rust aid you get it from home depot wear your gloves mask and all that sorry i don't have that right with, right right now with me but um we're gonna start with this one first and see what it works like i also got the oxalic acid that i'm gonna use just to see a difference Oh, this is 
This side was thick. Yes, yeah, working pretty fast, man. Huh? I've always gotten questions about can this be used on houses? Definitely can be used, man. If it's irrigation rust or you know sprinkler rust or whatever you want to call it, it, it definitely will come off. We're gonna get we're gonna give it a little bit more dwell time and then um, come back, maybe spray a little bit more on it. All right, guys. So pretty much been dwelling about five minutes total on this and. Um, now we're gonna give it a good rinse. You don't wanna leave this on the house, obviously. So we got a little bit, tiny bit remaining right there. I don't know why I touched that. <laughs> Sorry, I know y'all gonna get on me about that. But um, yeah, we're gonna give it a good rinse. So, you know, we don't affect the paint. It's gonna like, low, like a low rinse. Yeah, yeah, low pressure. Right, guys so this side is done you see what it did with the uh um rust aid that was rust aid we're gonna do a little sample test on the sidewalk with the rust aid and then um then we're gonna flip over to oxalic acid to see what it does because this is pretty good right all right guys so we're gonna do the uh, uh the rust aid on the sidewalk So I just got done spraying the rust aid on this side of the sidewalk. This is what it looks like now. It's wet, so it's hard to see the dramatic results. But I mean, you can look at the difference between the two sides. Now we're gonna fill the pump up sprayer with oxalic acid. We're gonna mix it 10 ounces per uh, one gallon of water. 10 ounces per one gallon of water. That's the dilution weight we're going with. We're gonna try it on the house first, and then we're gonna do the same thing, come out here and try it on the sidewalk. Okay, so last time we used the rust aid. Now, we're gonna be using the oxalic acid. Show you guys. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like, you can see it? All right. <laughs> Acid needs to be bumped up with people to 12, 12 ounces per gallon. But we're gonna 
I'll try to tear the house and see how it works. guys so I just got done spraying this uh, area here like I was telling him I got a conical tip for my pump up spray that shoots further out I forgot to bring it so that's why I'm using the fan and the fan gonna give you a lot of overspray so that's why I got him wetting down all these plants to make sure I don't burn anything but you can see already the oxalic acid works pretty fast man I think the oxalic acid works faster in my opinion that's real quick, man, because this stuff was heavy up there. Yeah, this one right here was real heavy. I got to come back and hit it on this little lip. There's a little lip right here. I got to spray again. But, I mean, all the stuff that was down there, it's already gone. This heavy stuff over here, it's almost gone. I got to spray a little bit more. But I think the oxalic acid definitely works faster than the rest of you guys. And, like, a minute, right? Two minutes? Yeah. A minute and a half and it started disappearing. I'm gonna spray it a little bit more and then we're gonna rinse it. And I'll go do the sidewalks. One thing for sure guys, you gotta wear a mask. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm not even gonna lie. This thing is strong. Strong, strong. So yeah, definitely wear your mask. And eye protection, I got glasses on, so. But uh, should be wearing a mask for sure, all right? Good. You rinse the back, the back pillar, and then wet, wet uh, what are those plants down? Those the potted plants. Yeah, you, I just did a couple times. All right, good. All right, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and try the uh, oxalic acid on this side of the sidewalk. guys so you saw it real time no it's not spinning the, uh, not spinning it up just real time the oxalic acid definitely works faster I can't even I can't even front I can't even lie man you see it see the big difference look at that this is the oxalic side this is the rust a side do they both work the same? Tell me, I don't know. They look about the same to me, but as far as speed, I think the Oxelli has it on speed, man. I Definitely. I, I'll explain some more. you guys we just got done rinsing the sidewalk in the pillars that had the oxalic acid on it uh, now we're just gonna post treat the concrete with some SA just to take off any lines or anything like that that we had on the concrete so I got Jared just putting a post treatment we're just downstreaming the post treatment on this one here 
nothing too heavy. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta go too strong. This right here just gonna brighten it up a little bit more. Take away any lines, cause we did have some lines. All right, cut it off. All right, good. And the post treatment, you don't have to rinse it. You just put it on here and just let it dry. It's just gonna take away your lines and brighten the concrete. The uh, oxalic acid, you definitely wanna rinse that. I like to rinse it just so the, the edges of the grass doesn't get burned if you ha you're having to spray them when you were applying the chemical. All right, y'all, time for a little recap. We post treated the uh, sidewalk, took away any lines. This is the final product. No rust stains whatsoever. Did the pillars. A couple of them had uh, rust stains. The rest of them got efflorescence. This is what you want right here. No lines. Once this sun come out real good and uh, dry this up, it's gonna be a night and day difference between this side here and the neighbors. Yes, sir. This is the wall right here that had the rust. This right here was there before we got here. Like it was painted before. That's what they said. It's not ours. <laughs> But uh, you guys see the final result. Looking pretty good. No rust. This is the walkway. Soft washed it and treated it with um, the rust remover. This was the main event right here on the front with the arches. We got that cleaned up as far as that goes, we got the pillars cleaned up. And of course, that one over there was pretty bad. Look at that. Nice and clean. This one was bad also. Looking good, man. All right, guys, so this was the video for the day. Um, honestly, man, I think the oxalic acid it's a better option if you don't want to sit there and mix it up. Uh, that's the only difference really. Um, also that it's, it's cheaper because um, you get five, five pounds for like what? I think I bought five pounds for like 20 something dollars. I'm gonna tell you guys right now how much I bought it for. All right, so I bought uh, the Oxalic for 24, $23.99. I bought five gallons of five gallons. I bought five pounds of it. And I did it with 10 ounce per um, per gallon. Um, the Rust Aid, I think it's like $12 now. It used to be $10. It's like $12.99 right now. Um, that's just for one gallon. So the five pounds will go, let me say you can stretch it for a long ways. And also you get more out of it when you're doing like, you can do wood with it, you know what I'm saying? You can do this kind of rust removal with it. So. You can do it, you can use it for multiple things. I don't know if you can use rust aid for the wood, but um, so that was the job for the day, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, you know, like I said, the oxalic acid works really well, cheaper. We just gotta mix it, but it, it works really fast as far as speed as, uh, as well. So y'all stay tuned. Shout out to my boy, Jared. He's tired, look at him. He was getting whooped by that pressure washer. That pressure washer will warm out, y'all. That 8 GPM warm him out. He got a 4 GPM. He ain't ready for the big boy league. <laughs> y'all enjoyed the video, man. Smash the like button for me. Leave a comment if you got any questions. And I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace. Got his ladders up top, hose reel. So you got the same hoses here. Which one is which? It's my soft wash. This is soft wash. How long is this? Uh, 100 feet. 100 feet. He's gone right there. Got, got, we got the soft, right here, got the soft wash inside that box over there. You got the pump with the battery, marine battery, 27 volt back there. Nice. Got an inch uh, auto hose. The drop okay. stick right here. Drop he's gonna put, he's gonna put, you're gonna put a 90 on here, right? I'm gonna put a 90 on there. I got it in Trex. Okay, yeah, so, so it doesn't kink. Do that, yeah. 
Right. And eventually I'm going to upgrade these lines to, to non uh, flexible. Non collapsible? Lines. Yeah, non collapsible. This line and that line. I'll probably get this and do the same thing. Yeah. So, you can do a lot with this. Start a rig, but it's going to get the job done. There you, know? you go, man. You got to start.